Hi guys, this video is about tips and tricks for going away to college. It's all things we wish we knew and we had someone telling us before we went away. We originally made this video for our niece who's just about to go away to college, but we realized really it's good for any new grad. So we thought we'd share it with you guys too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for alerts for future videos. Congratulations. Graduates. Congratulations. To graduating high school and making it in to college. Here's what you actually need to know about going to college. No classes before 10 a.m. Trust me, you may think you want to take an early class, you're done by one, and you can have fun the rest of the day, but don't two and a half weeks do in, it. you're like, what the hell did I get myself into? Yeah, don't do it. Just don't do it. If at all possible, no classes on Friday. It's no, no point. Then. None. You're going to party all week, but of course the biggest days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So no waking up early Friday for classes. Not even like noon. No classes Friday. Schedule it that way. When I went to college, I figured out the... A long, a long, long, long time, time, ago. time ago. Not as long as your dad, though. Um, I realized that the optimal hours per semester was between 13 and 15. 13 kept you as full-time and got to stay on your parents' health insurance. Anything over 15, you had to have class on Friday and it required you to study more. So 13 to 15 hours per semester is ideal. Avoid the freshman 15. It sucks to get rid of. If at all possible, try avoiding gaining the freshman 15. If you order pizza or delivery and you pass out drunk before it comes, don't wake up and eat it to just go right back to bed just let it go and just go to sleep. You're going to Ohio State. You're going to have classes that are going to have about five, six, seven hundred people in them. At least Wait, freshman pause. year. You should be going to U of I. Why yeah. are you not going to U of I? Ohio State. Illini. Your mom's an Illini. What, what's the story here? Okay, fine. You can be a buff guy. Continue. Anyway, <laughs> when you're in these big lecture halls, it's important to sit in the back. Because trust me, you're going to be bored out of your mind and you're going to want to play with your phone. In our time, there weren't phones. So we did the crossword puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Take classes you're interested in. So we both listened to our parents and we both went into business because that's what parents tell you to do so you can get a good job. Just take something you like. I think I would have really liked having a career, doing something I enjoyed. So if you find a class you like in college, take another one. Even if it's not one of your gen eds you're supposed to take, don't follow the plan. Take stuff you're interested in to find out what you really want to do in life. When choosing a place to live, live close to campus. It's so much easier if you can walk to the bars, walk to your friends' places. Another one, you go to all the sporting events, you know, tailgate as much as you can. And stay single. Are you still with a boyfriend or has that ended? If it hasn't, end it now. Are they going to your same college? Probably not. Don't go to college with a boyfriend. Okay, bad advice actually, because I think your parents did that, right? They met in high school. <laughs> Just like taking classes you want, try out guys you like. Last but not least, if you remember that, you'll get through college. Have fun, girl. Congratulations. Congratulations. 